I put in the book itself, Racist Man. I always say that, Racist Man and Racist Woman. That's a category. Those are the white supremacists. Those, not all, I'm not talking about all white people, but I'm talking about those white people who dominate and mistreat people based on color. They are the racists of this entire planet. And that's racist man and racist woman collectively. These are the people who believe in and who practice white supremacy, which means dominating and mistreating people because they have color in their skin and are factors that are associated with color in their skin. That's what the system of white supremacy is. And they are partners. They are co-equals when it comes to non-white people. Now, they'll have squabbles among themselves, which you can see on any television show. Uh, you know, they, they call it the battle of the sexes and all like that. But that's an in-house thing. Like all people have squabbles, petty squabbles for the most part, about something or another. Uh, sister and brother, uh, two sisters, uh, people all over the world have little differences of opinion and whatnot, and they get into arguments and shouting matches and all like that. But in the system of white supremacy, the white supremacists, regardless of gender, are all in it together. And this is why you have the system of white supremacy. So you can expect that. And so, no, a racist white woman doesn't get a pass or shouldn't get a pass. She's in a co-equal in partnership in crime, because racism is a crime, white supremacy is a crime, the crime of crimes, the crime of the entire universe, when you dominate and mistreat people, mistreat people based on color, that's a crime. That's the crime of crimes. That's a major crime. In fact, the major crime, because all other crimes will flow from that one. And so you have that partnership in crime between both white males and white females of, among those of them who have chosen to practice white supremacy. So they are equals. 